<laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> A few moments later <laughs> There's a Nigerian Afrobeat artist named Omale who recently invited a girl on stage. The only problem is that girl came to the concert with her boyfriend who she had been with for seven years. This is what happened. Yep. Man, look at man, hell now. You can literally see the girls next to him and behind him laughing at him. She took your balls, nigga. She took your balls. I don't care if he's famous. If you take your girlfriend to a con. Shalom. Call her law. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rakakwadash. That's given all praise to the Most High. In name is only begotten Son. In name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to go into this video, man. All right. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do it like this. You know, it's going to be. Um. You know, pretty much going on raw. All right. But this is a very wicked and adulterous generation, man. All right. And this is what America pr pr promotes. OK. They, uh, you know, just the spirit of, you know, uh, uh, adultery is rampant. OK. Um, uh, among this place, you know, and this is completely wicked, man. OK. What this woman did was just the woman right here. I had to do some digging, but I found her. Hi, everyone. Um. I thought I was going to do a story time and tell my side of the story because the amount of hate that I'm getting, I'm getting I'm getting called all types of things that I've never even heard before. Like, it's getting a bit scary and I keep coming and keep coming. Like, whoa. So, I really want to explain myself um, and address a few rumours as well. But, obviously, before I get that started, I want to publicly apologise to him. Obviously, me and him, we've had private conversations where we spoke but since it was public I think the right thing for me to do is to publicly apologize to him like that was bad but you know I made it it was honestly a mistake I just... so there you go man all right I'm gonna grab some scriptures I don't want to make this too long but you see the woman all right what she did it's completely wicked and this is why you know and we was going kind of going into this at camp you know last Saturday about these concerts man you know, you really sh shouldn't go to these concerts, you know, and if you do go to these concerts, definitely do not bring your women or you, it's like you're, you're a woman. All right. And I bet you that, you know, he paid for the tickets. You know, it's probably her idea to go, you know, and then she pretty much embarrassed him in front of the whole world. But this is the wicked world that we are living in. And that rapper, uh, O'Malley or whatever his name was, hey, that guy's going to be destroyed, man. OK, he's going to be destroyed. She's going to be destroyed. And, um, you know, there's going to be judgment behind this. All right. Matter of fact. Um, and the clip I showed you earlier, you know, showed them actually kiss, you know, she actually kissed, you know, that, that uh, man. All right. Some, you know, and, you know, you got this thing where couples would get axed, you know, if, if they were to, you know, cheat, cheat on one another, who would it be with? And they'll say, you know, they'll name their favorite celebrity and act like it's all cool and shit. But this is adultery, man. This is a very adulterous generation. And the Lord is not with this. All right. So before we go any further, let's grab a few scriptures. This is uh, Mark chapter 8, verse 38 in the NLT. It says, if anyone is ashamed of me and my message 
in these adulterous and sinful days. Okay, we are in a very adulterous and sinful generation. Okay, so you cannot be ashamed of the of the word of, of the Most High. And this is why we go out and we teach. You know, somebody call us corny or whatever they want to call us for, you know, having these, uh, uh, you know, for teaching this message. But what's right is what's right and what's wrong is what's wrong. It says the son of man will be ashamed of that person when he returns in the glory of his father with the holy angels. And that's what you don't want. You don't want to be the Lord to be ashamed of you. OK, and, and end up destroying you. All right. So you got you got to come back to you. How about you? shy, man. You know, this is a very, very wicked world. OK. And uh, with that, it's our job to rebuke this wicked place. OK. It's our job to rebuke this wicked uh, world, man. Now, let's go here. All right, I got a bunch of scriptures I want to go through, so I'm going to make this kind of quick. But it says, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 42, verse uh, 11. It says, keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter. Okay, and these women are shameless. Okay, they have no shame. Okay, completely disrespectful with what she did. You saw him trying to, you know, pull her back. He didn't want her to go, you know. And they was together for seven years. Okay, seven years. You got the same thing happening with Usher. You know, he's, uh, you know, call himself, uh, you know, he said, he said, don't bring your girl around me. True player for real. That's my nigga. For, listen, don't bring your, 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 your woman around these damn, these damn celebrities, man. You should want to be around the meter. All right. You know, he probably, you know, seven years is a long time. He's probably, he probably got a damn Rango on layaway with ready to propose to her. He probably had plans to propose to her at that concert. Who knows? But the fact she did that to, to that man, you know, just shows you how wicked this world is and how wicked these women are, man. All right. Now she want to come out here and do a a, a damn near uh, four minute ap a apology. Which I, ain't, I don't even care to watch the whole thing. I just want to put her on camera so you can see who she is, you know, in the face. All right. But this this was that woman. All right. She disrespected her man. And, you know, a, a, a the Lord is likely to judge her and that man for that, man, because it was, you know, so, you know, uh, public, you know, in everybody's face, you know, which that was just pushing, pushing a more adulterous generation. I mean, it's like a more um, adulterous vibration throughout the earth, more than it already is. It says, "Lest she make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies, and a byword in the city, and a reproach among the people, and make thee ashamed before the multitude." Right? Because whoever her father is, he should be ashamed of her. All right? She, you know, she, you know, you know, she, she, she had a pretty uh, decent guy. You know, it seemed like a pretty uh, a decent guy. They were together for seven years. He probably had plans, you know, pl plans to be with her, you know. Um, imagine if they had kids, man, you know, which I don't think they did. But imagine if they had kids. All right. It says, behold, not everybody's beauty and sit not in the midst of women. So just because, you know, a woman looks good, you know, don't mean that you, sh you, you should just get, get taken by that, man. You know, is, is she wifey material? You know, you, you know uh, what, what they say in, in the world. Um, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. It says, for from garments cometh a moth and from women wickedness. OK, so from women comes wickedness, man. All right. And, I'm, and, and you know, the fact that she even apologized and felt bad it, 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 it is, a, uh, you know, is, uh, is, it, it, it is um, surprising in itself, you know, which, which, which I believe that she, she's not from, you know, the uh, states. But the, the woman over here in America, a, 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 they, they ain't even going to do that, you know. And her friends was telling her, you saw in a clip how her friends was telling her how that was wrong, you know. And they was laughing at that man, you know. You know, uh, uh, all the women was laughing. The whole the whole concert was laughing at him. All right. So it says Proverbs 30, verse 20, such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. And when she she got that stage, she felt like, he, you know, he was going to. Uh, 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 welcome, welcome her with open hands, open arms. She felt like she didn't do no wrong. And you saw her friends was telling her after the concert, as he walked away, that she was wrong. As a matter of fact, I would have left her ass at. The, I would have left her ass in the concert, man. Okay. It says uh, in the NLT, it says an adulterous woman consumes a man, then wipes her mouth and says, "What's wrong with that?" You know. So that's you know she was saying how it wasn't that bad. You know this man had her face. In his crotch, you know, she was, you know, uh, you know, he was grinding on her and stuff. And then they, and then they showed that, that, that they kissed. Okay. So this is, this is complete wickedness, man. All right. And people like this are going to be destroyed. Okay. Let's go here. All right. All these scriptures came to my mind as I was, you know, 
hearing about the story. It says Proverbs chapter six, verse thirty-six. Uh, select the verse thirty-two. Let me grab it in the NLT. Lucky. Let's grab it in the NLT too. All right. Proverbs six. Because this just goes to show you why the Lord is coming to destroy this place. You know, the Lord is going to be ashamed of you people, you know, that's in this lifestyle, man, that or or, 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 or that's, that's doing these things. You know, this ain't the time to be trying to, you know, and, it, and, and like we were saying at, at, at the, um, at the, uh, at the camp last week, man, you know, these concerts, bro, it's, 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 it's really demonic, you know, a, a bunch of adultery is going on there. Most of those women that go to them concerts, they either have a man talking to a man, you know, got, you know, let, 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 don't let the man and the kids at home. And, and they go there in hopes to get, you know, seen by that artist, you know, and, you know, really slut it out. OK, quite frankly. OK, that's the truth of the matter. So it, so it's wickedness. OK, no man of the Lord should should be in the spirit of going to these concerts and, you know, bringing your woman. And, you know, because really what you're doing is you are idolizing the person on stage and they can do whatever they, they you know, that, that they want. They, they want to do to you. OK. It says, um. Let me go here. It says Proverbs chapter six, verse twenty-four. It says, "Keep to keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids." You know, women wear these umbrellas. It says, "For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread." Salakia. And the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. I just read in the NLT it says for a prostitute will bring you to poverty, but sleeping with another man's wife will cost you your life. Right. And that's what, you know, is going to happen to that one guy. You know, they didn't physically sleep together. Who knows, you know, what happened afterwards, which I don't think so. But the fact that he did that, that's going to cost him his life. The Lord is going to destroy that guy, man. OK, the Lord is going to judge that man. All right. And, you know, even dealing with these prostitutes, you know, for a prostitute will bring you to poverty, you know. Now is the time to abstain from those lusts and come back to you. How about you know, shine truth and sincerity? Let's go to 32. It says, um, Proverbs 6 and verse 32. But whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. And I remember when I was even in the world, before I even came into the truth, you know, um, you know, a lot of my, you know, the girls I dealt with was either somebody that I knew for a while or, you know, you know, usually what I, what I would do is I would go after the new girls in school. You know, I, would, I, I couldn't date a girl that I seen with another man. I couldn't be be, be, be with a girl that, you know, um, one of my friends have already have already been with or even one of my worst enemies. I, you know, I just I, I just didn't know. I was never on that type of timing, man. You know, I see, um, you know, say, say I had say I had an enemy. Somebody had beef with and, and a particular girl. And I had a situation like that happen where. You know, a dude I was beefing with, you know, uh, his, his, his girl and them, they, they broke up and she tried to get, nah, I'm good, you know, because cause, cause really that's a homosexual spirit, bro. You know, do want to go behind another man's woman? He probably was popping that woman, you know, before they went to that concert and she over there dancing on stage with this damn man. All right, so this is a wicked, sick, vile, you know, place, man. And this is why we need the Lord to come and set things right because right now this place is all out of whack. All right. In the NLT, it says, uh, Proverbs 6 and 32, but the man who commits adultery is an utter fool, for he destroys himself. And that's what, you know, that guy did, man. You know, he don't realize it, but that, that's what you did. You, you just destroyed yourself. Okay, let's go back into the KJV. It says, a wound and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore will... He will not spare in a day of vengeance. And that guy, he look at that guy and, and go up there and beat his ass or, or, or up strap or whatever, man. You know, you 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 you, you know, uh, when a man getteth a wife, he beginneth a possession. So you don't go dealing with another man's woman. Okay, that that's that man's possession. Like you got, you know, you got dogs. How 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 they mark their territory? Well, men do the same thing. Okay, men mark their territory. It says he will not regard any ransom. Neither will he rest content though thou givest many gifts right and no matter what 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 he do you know and that guy can still feel a type of way okay and and ultimately you know uh seek out for his life okay let's play some more of what she said if i knew this would like get this far 
I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even go to the concert. I don't know. So now, now she wouldn't even went to the concert if she knew it would it would went this far. So if 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 it hadn't went that far, if she wasn't getting the, the uh you know the, the uh D threats, okay, I can't say the word because YouTube, but um if she wasn't getting getting those threats, you know then then you know she 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 she, 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 she wouldn't give a damn. If he if he took her back, she wouldn't have give a damn. Okay, let's go back to the NLT Proverbs six and thirty three. He will he he will be wounded and disgraced. His shame will never be erased. Ooh, that kind of rhymed. It says for the woman's for the woman's jealous husband will be furious and he will show no mercy when he takes vengeance. He will accept no compensation nor be satisfied with a payoff of any size. Right. So you got to consider that, man. You know, and, the, and these women nowadays, they did, they, they, you know, a hey, our, our wife shall well, let me grab that. A wife shall be a harlot. You know, the, you know, you meet a woman, you know, nine out of ten. She ain't already been with other men, you know. And they shall be they, they shall be harlots in the city, man. They going around, you know, town, you know, when they have girls night out, you know, you know, if you let your your you, you, you woman go hang out with her friends or, you know, you know how these women go on these trips. You you, you can bet your ass that they're over there doing wickedness, man. OK. Uh, Amos 7 verse uh, uh, 17. This is and this is why you don't give women liberty because they, you know, they're more susceptible to Satan and, and, and they're just going to do a uh, 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 damn wickedness, man. All right, and they call it controlling, you know, or whatever you want to call it, but that's, you know, that's the way you, that you keep a house together. It says, um, Amos chapter 7, verse 17, Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, thy wife shall be in harlot in the city. Okay, in the NLT it says, But this is, is what the Lord says, your wife will become a prostitute in this city. All right, and that's the curses that fell upon us. You know, your, your, our, our women have become harlots. Okay. A woman have become harlots, man. That's because we disobeyed the Lord. So he put his, you know, did, did this punishment upon us, you know, and that woman pretty much, you know, became a prostitute unto that man. She, uh, you know, prostituted herself to that man when she went on that stage, allowed him to do whatever to her, you know, in, in, in the video, she had jumped on him. OK, all 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 in, all in front of her, her own man. OK, completely wicked, man. Completely wicked. All right, and honestly, it's part, you know, that man's fault for even bringing her there. You know, like I said, he probably paid for the tickets. You know, she probably told him she wanted to go. So she's going to be in town. If your woman is lusting after another man, no matter who the fucking man is, you, 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 hey, you, hey, hey, it might be time to reconsider. Okay. It might be time to reconsider. Hey, hey, and, and you men got to stop being weak. Stop being, you know, a, a, a soft, you know, with your damn woman, man. You got to be a man. Okay. And being a man takes, you know, cor you know, correct, correcting a woman, you know, and putting her in her place. Now, we ain't doing that, you know. It says. um, <clears throat> Let's go here. It says, um, hmm. Yeah. Um. No, that no, this is what is polluted. Here we go. It says uh, Jeremiah chapter three, verse one. They say if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return. Again to me, say if to say if Yahweh, and that, and that's you know resembling us. We and we played the harlot man, going after false gods, you know, which is uh spiritual adultery, going after false gods, and now our women are committing physical adultery. But it says if a man put away his wife, you know, the, the men and women, you know, they break up or they separate for a little bit, and she go from him and become another man's, you know, because sex is marriage, you know, if you, if, a, if, you're, if if a woman goes and deals with another man, she has become married to that man. It says, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? And I've seen it. I've seen women, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, you, hey, hey, you be dealing with, with a damn woman, you know, and she end up, you know, whatever, happy, I can argue with her. She go to another man. And then this guy, did, you know, j j j just end up popping her, you know, and, you know, she become a damn single mom. 
okay she become a single mother so these women you know they, they, they don't think that far but that's the reality okay let's go to um let's go to proverbs chapter 6 back to proverbs chapter 6 and let's go to verse 24 it says Proverbs chapter six verse twenty four, to keep thee from the evil woman, uh, and the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. It says oh, I've already read this. I already read that. So don't, you already read that. But like yeah, like I said, imagine if they had you know kids. Imagine if he was married to her, you know, with a damn ring, you know, and and, and a government contract. Guess what? He you know he, he a, a, a she could take him for everything that he got. You know, seven years down the drain. All right. Leviticus 20 verse 10, it says, and the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Right. So really, they're supposed to get put to death, man. OK, thus saith the scriptures, thus saith the Bible. This day, that's wickedness, man. You you, you 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 don't be doing that all right um she you know they both supposed to have got slain on the spot all right especially where we where, where your neighbor's wife from another israelite yeah, that's off bro that's off you know and I, like i said i've had situations like that where you know a particular woman you know we try to come we try to come up because they was once they was once with one of my friends or like i said even one of my enemies i'm straight i'm good you know and really, that 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 is a, an, an effeminate spirit to want to be with another man's woman, or a woman that I'm, that you know another man has been with, especially if if you already knew that man. You know, it's like it, it's no different than you know you looking at that man like, damn, you know, sick, sick where we in. It says um, Matthew chapter five verse twenty seven, ye have heard that it was said by them of old time. Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. And this woman, you know, hey, she got, you know, not not now she is publicly shamed. You know, you know, and, and the other men ain't gonna take her seriously. And another man gonna be with her for seven years, you know, and another man gonna, gonna, gonna put her on, on no type of pedestal. Nah, now, you know, you're gonna get, you know, pumped and dumped. All right. No, no, nobody's going to want to take you seriously now. All right. So, you know, even, and even if you look at a woman that already got another another man, you know, uh, in, in, in that way, you know, guess what? You have already committed adultery. OK. And a lot of these women, you know, hey, they don't give a damn. You know, I remember, you know, when I was, first came into the truth. I was working at uh, 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 I, was, I was working at this particular uh, store and a woman, she, she actually came in from Puerto Rico. You know, she was an older woman, you know, and, and she was married and she tried to, you know, she pretty much tried to come on to me, bro. I was like, what the fuck? You know, and, you know, she ain't gonna lie. You know, she was my type, you know. But, you know, hey, I, I had, I had, you know, I, I, I had this understanding. I was like, no, nah, I can't do that. You know, the Lord will kill me. And, 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 and that's, you know, that shows that we fear the Lord, man. You know, you, you got to fear the Lord, you know. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. You know, I'm good, man. All right. But she actually, you know, tried to like, you know, I, I guess, you know, what happened was I had to help her with something. You know, she was moving. Somewhere. I had to help her. Told me, it told me to go over there and help her. I'll go over there and help her. She's like, ooh, you know, started flirting with me. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Bitch, bitch you married. <laughs> OK, you're married. But these women don't give a damn, bro. OK, they don't give a damn. And that's how wicked this world is. OK, it says. um, It says, uh. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 25, verse uh, 19. It says, All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Right. Okay. Because these women, they, you know, they, they'll go all out, you know, they, 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 and and they will seek you. Like I said, and in that situation, I have with that woman, hey, hey, she, you know, she, she, she really tried to, to, to kill me. You know, that was an attempt on my life because the Lord would, would have killed me. All right. So be mindful of these things, you know, don't be simple. You know, you, you, you got to think with your big head, not your little head. It says, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 25, uh, verse 12, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love and faith is 
is the beginning of cleaving unto him. So you got to fear the Lord. It says, give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. These women are wicked, bro. A lot of guys lose their life, you know, be in prison, you know, or, or um, in the grave, you know, behind the damn woman. All right. So. But I'm just, I'm just about done. Let me see what, what else I got. Um, let me see. Uh. Let me read a little bit more of this. It says, uh, it's jumping down to verse 21. It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. A woman, if she, uh, that's the point, you know, desire her not for pleasure, man. Verse 24, if of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her, we all die. So you, you know, get caught up with a damn woman, you know, it's going to bring you death and destruction. Like what happened with, with Eve, you know, and this is Eve with a damn wig on. It says, um. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. And they in the front row, you know. And let me tell you what happened. I, I bet I bet you there was already in that, there was at that show. And the reason why he called her up there, because she was eyeing him. She was giving him that look, you know. And he said, you know, come on up here. So she so you know, you know, she was giving him that look, you know, right next to her man. <laughs> it's a wicked ass world, bro. All right. It's a wicked ass word. It says, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather to gather bride, giving the woman that freedom. You can't you can't give the one woman no damn freedom, man. You know, this is why they had chastity belts. <laughs> you know, this is why, um, you know, the father would make search, uh, take extra precaution, you know, to keep his daughter in straightly because she 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 will she would destroy herself. OK, it says in the, and if she go not as thou wouldest have her cut her off from thy flesh. You know, don't deal with her no more and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. All right. So it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Hey, if it come down to it, man, for you, it's a woman doing shit like this, like, like this guy had to do. Okay. He had to cut her ass off, man. And, 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 and you know, he loved her. You, you, you saw, saw it in his face when he was watching her up there. You know, the man had love for that woman, but he had to cut her off. Okay. Because it, it, was, it was only going to destroy him. Okay. Let me see. Uh. Ecclesiastes chapter 26, verse 25. Let me go up to verse 22. It says, And harlot shall be accounted as spittle, but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. And really, they were married, bro. You know, they was having, you know, you know, they was together for seven years. You know, they was, you know, uh, uh you know, uh, obviously he, he had his, made his imprint on her. OK, for lack of better words, it says or lack of, uh, you know. Uh, YouTube, you know, di disrupting YouTube's guidelines. It says a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that fears the Lord. Right. So, you, you know, if you if you if you a wicked man and, you know, pretty much if you're going against the ways, you how about you? Know, I know I ain't get a good look at the guy, but I, I see he had no bit on his face. So who knows? You know, so if you're going against the ways, you how about you? Know, then the Lord will give you a wicked woman. OK. It says a dishonest woman contempt of shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. OK, and she's supposed to have had ha, 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 reverence her husband. OK, but instead she contempt of shame. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. OK, which is a B-I-T-C-H. But she that is shame faced will fear the Lord. Right. So a woman that's shame faced, they, 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 you know, they're going to fear the Lord. And really for you women, let me tell you something, man. Uh, Sarah called Abraham Lord. Okay, so your your Lord is the your 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 uh, man. All right, you supposed to reverence him as such. Okay. It says a woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of all, but she that dishonors him in her pride shall be counted ungodly of all. And that's why she had to come on here and do these goddamn uh, apology, talking about she 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 receiving threats. I wonder why. Okay, I wonder why. All right, let me grab this right and I'll close out. Because you can't let your woman rule over you, man. Okay? You can't let your woman rule over you, you know? It ain't about what she want to do. It's about what you want to do. And she and she, and she supposed to be in line with that. You know, and if she not, all she's going to do is bring you more headache and pain. Okay, in the end. Okay? It says, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the ways of thy path. Right. So you got women ruling over, you know, our people, you know, you, uh, you men, you let your woman rule over you, you know, telling you what to do, you know, making decisions for uh, you and her. 
Now you make the decisions. You call the shots. Because if not, you're going to end up like this guy, man. Okay, out there looking crazy in front of the whole world. You have women, you know, all around him laughing at him. You know, it's one big joke, right? Until the Lord start putting people to death. So I'm going to play the rest of this. I'm going to close out. This is not worth the hate I'm receiving. But, yeah, since it was public, I want to publicly apologize to him. So, yeah, let's just get straight into, like, the, the story. Uh, the rumors, actually. I want to address the rumors first. So, why am I... Okay, first of all, first of all, who's Fafa? No, who's that person? Whoever said that my name is Fafa? Can you come? No, come, please. Because how... I literally, I literally went on stage. I literally said my name is Jess. I said it twice. Okay, we don't give a damn. All right. So, she, 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 so really, she thinks it's a big joke. You know? And I don't know if that's a booger or damn mole on her nose. But she ain't shit. All right? So with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom. I'm going to call Shirala, a Bible ball. Double honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom.